Good morning. I'm actually making my way to the reopened Sandy Hook. It just opened up yesterday, six months after Sandy hit New Jersey and the whole Northeast and really made a giant mess of things. Uh, the reason why I'm heading down this way is to kind of check out to see what is open down here. From what I understand, most of the park is open. I've got a couple of cameras with me. The one I'm really excited about trying out today is actually an old Polaroid that I had gotten um, and doing some research um, before ordering it found out that there was still film available for it. Fuji still makes the um, Polaroid film uh, for this model and uh, it, working camera, good condition and as soon as I park I'll uh, pull the camera out and we'll talk a little bit more about it and uh, you can follow me along while I'm uh, shooting. One of the reasons why I came out here was one to see how much of it is open and it looks like for the most part um, all of the parking lots except for one is open so you can get to the beaches but I also wanted to see this area behind me and I don't know it's probably not very clear there's the old gun batteries which I'll take some photos of and that's the reason why I'm here let me grab it I came to play with this it is a uh, Polaroid 215 uh, I was looking to get a Polaroid for my old camera collection. Uh, most of the cameras in that collection really aren't in working condition. They look good, so they're shelf and display quality. Um, but after doing a little bit of research, I found out that Fuji still made film for this camera. So I figured, ooh, kill two birds with one stone. Play around with an old Polaroid and get a neat looking camera. Uh, for the collection. Uh, one of the reasons why I went with this is because I did not have a camera that had a, a bellows in it and we'll just open this and that's a bellows. So I just think this is really kind of a cool looking camera. I've uh, taken a couple of test shots with it and it's what you would expect from a uh, Polaroid camera but I figured this would be a neat place to kind of come down and, and, and get a couple of shots. Uh, each pack of film comes with 10 um, exposures, if you will. So, uh, you know, you're talking about maybe a dollar a picture. So, you know, it's not like digital where you're firing it off. Also, when you work with this kind of camera, uh, you became an instant litter bug. So make sure you have a plastic bag with you to get rid of some of this stuff. And um, I think I have a park ranger coming over to check out what I'm doing. All right. So I'll see you in a little bit. All's good. I'm back. Uh, just turned out he saw somebody sitting out here kind of in the middle of this uh, field where they do parking. And he just wanted to check things out. So I showed him the old camera. He thought it was cool and drove off. Uh, took some shots out here uh, with the Polaroid. Before I had come out, like I said, I did take some tests around the house. It's... You know, the, sh the, the photos, and maybe it has something to do with the black and white film, um, but I think it has more to do with this camera, even though it does have a very primitive form of a light meter or light sensor, it really does not do well averaging out a scene. So I was taking some shots over here at the old uh, Ford, and, and they just didn't come out. Um, it was reading a lot of the ambient bright light, but I was shooting into shadows and the shots came out dark. Just to make sure everything was okay, I did just kind of shoot the field that I'm parked in, and uh, it came out okay. So as you can see, if you're shooting, you're really shooting in a, um, you know, you want to shoot in bright light and almost try to shoot for kind of an average type scene. But um, I'm going to drive around a little bit more. We'll see what other kind of shots I can get. I don't know if I had mentioned this before. I had gotten the camera off of eBay. Uh, if you're going for 
a Polaroid 215. They're readily available and in good condition. Don't spend more than 15 10 or $15 for it. There were a lot of these made. Um, you know, eBay is one of those tricky things where they'll put quote unquote vintage, which means nothing. Um, this camera was made between 1968 and 72, I think was when it was discontinued. So we're talking about a almost 45 year old, if not a 45 year old camera. Um, I kind of have a funny feeling that this was used very little. It was such a clean camera. Um, when I got it, of course, I had to get the film, which I ordered from Amazon, and it also needed a battery, which I was able to find on Amazon also. So I'm going to continue taking some photos. Hopefully I'll have more than just that one to show you. Kind of having some mixed luck. Uh, like I had mentioned, the camera doesn't really do that well in kind of mixed lighting situations. It's a very bright, sunny day today. Um, if I'm shooting into shadow, what's happening is the camera's not really kind of adjusting for that. So I'm just trying to shoot kind of some wide open scenes, some very sunny and well lit scenes, and uh, we'll go from there. I think I actually see something that looks kind of interesting. So uh, I'll go shoot and, uh, you know, hopefully have some cool stuff to show you. Well, it doesn't look like I'll be shooting much more today with the Polaroid. Had a bit of a malfunction with the second package of film I put in there, and it kind of just fell apart. I went to go pull out a shot I took, and it just got jammed up. So, back to shooting digital. Okay. What I think happened is the rollers inside the camera, some way, somehow, got misaligned. Well, some way, somehow, it's an old camera. So it was either that causing things to get jammed up, it was the film, or the operator. And, and what's that old saying? A, it's, it's a poor craftsman blames his tools, blah, 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 something like that. Um, all I know is, for now, I'm going to keep shooting with this. And, uh, you know, maybe if I feel up to it, I'll play around with uh, shooting Polaroids again. Except, I think maybe I'll get a newer Polaroid camera. The kind that, if you're my age group, remember from the late 70s through the 80s. The ones that just spit the film out and you didn't have to worry about counting or, or separating the negative from the film or anything like that. Um, and... Believe it or not, even though Polaroid isn't around or doesn't make that film anymore, there is a new company that does manufacture some film for some of the models for some of those uh, re more recent, if you want to call it more recent, models of um, those Polaroid cameras, and I'll, I'll put the link in here. And uh, well, that's about it. A little disappointed that in 20 Polaroid pictures really got two that resemble anything that looks like a photo, um, due to the fact that even though I think I took probably out of those 20, probably took about five or six photos, most of them were dark, like I said, two actually came out looking like something, and this second package of film just kind of imploded and got jammed up in the camera, so, uh, that's where we're at, and, uh, be talking to you again soon.